wide international experience, and former Vice Chair of the National Planning Commission of Nepal. Thank you, Dr. Wagley, for giving us your precious time on a Saturday morning to be with us here today. A graduation ceremony is an important landmark in the lives of students, but also for you parents and us teachers. It's an emotional moment for you, the parents who raised them, and us teachers who got to know them well through the years. We are all proud to see you grow and blossom into bright young women and men as you seek your dreams and make your families, communities, and country proud. The life lessons that you have gathered here will stand you in good stead as you take on the many challenges you will face in your lives. Strong friendships and the culture of cooperation will remain with you and help you wherever you go in the world. Dear class of 2018, teachers have praised this class as one of the most pleasant to work with. You should be proud. I personally enjoyed working with you on college advisement, which is still continuing with most of you, and of course the model United Nations. Not that you needed much help, as you took on the leadership roles to organize such an impressive international conference, RBSMUN 2017. These were memorable days for you, and even more so for us teachers, who watched you since grade seven when you started, to see your confidence level grow tremendously over the years. You are not finished with school yet. We wish you the best for the upcoming A-levels. We have two Cambridge awardees already from the AS level examinations who have set high standards for you. Let us congratulate them. Shashank Silwal, can you stand up? Shashank. Top in the world in mathematics. Priya Pradhan, high achievement in Islamic management. They just took uh, three exams last year, so out of that we have these toppers. But I, I would like to say that we have two toppers, but the AS results for the rest of the class was extremely good as well, so we should congratulate them. Uh, class of 2018, you have raised the bar. And we are confident that your results in August will live up to the standards that you have set. Many of you will be going to college this year, and some of you have already been accepted. Let me congratulate some of you who have received early notifications, while others wait to hear from colleges, mostly next week. So I wish I could have announced more, but I'll announce just a few who have early decisions. Um, Priya Pradhan, Cornell <laughs> University. Samata Bhattrai, Vasna College. Viva Shreshka, Washington and Leeds. Arvind Pandey, Tufts University. Pravid Bhattrai, Dickinson College. Avanish Khanal, Vanderbilt University. Avani and Saksha, Yale and Yes. Tenzin Grinnell College. Ayusha, NYU, Abu Dhabi. Ashley Adhikari, Bennington. Uh, and Anisha heard today that she got into Duke. <laughs> Many of you are taking a gap year. And gap year is also very beneficial. We have, we have had interns this year and they've been wonderful. They've grown a lot. We hope that you will use the time constructively and find worthwhile internships that will not only develop your interests further, but also help you learn more about the country. Class of 2018, your graduation also honors your parents, your families, and teachers whose hard work has brought you to this day. Congratulations, teachers. You have done a wonderful job of developing young minds and talents of this class from grade one through 12. You have given them values, lessons, and love. Let's give a hand to the proud parents and teachers of the class of 2018. <laughs> Dear students, you leave this privileged place having benefited from Rathamangla's world-class education that prepares you for whatever the world has to offer. 
It is an education designed to prepare you to make society and the planet a better place. You leave here knowing who you are and the kind of place you come from. You know now your strengths and you know what your strengths and weaknesses are. That the best people are a marvelous mixture of both. You will now be faced with choices every step of the way forward. You have the freedom to discover what is true for you and to follow that choice. You have learned from your years at Rata Bangla that education is not for material advantage alone. It is to spread it to the less advantaged in society and to uplift them. In your higher studies, in whatever subject, or in your future careers, in whatever field, you will find that there is always a higher calling. There is no greater sense of fulfillment than to be able to tell yourself that your life has made a difference to the lives of others around you. Class of 2018, the world awaits you. You can be change makers, whatever profession you choose. You can be scientists or artists, social activists or lawyers, teachers or politicians, fashion designers or surgeons, whatever, I can go on and on. Whatever you choose to become, you will find that the greatest personal fulfillment always comes from knowing that you had a hand in improving an existing situation. Let's face it, when everyone is exposed to air pollution, complaining about air pollution is boring. When we all see littered streets saying, cha is not original. The real question is, what are you going to do to make things different, to make things better? I'm glad to say that none of the past RBS graduates sit, are sitting around complaining about how bad things are. They're trying to find solutions in their own little ways. Rata Bangla alumni have launched startups, they are social entrepreneurs, uh, many are working on development around the world, and they have a deep commitment to social justice and are working to make the world a better place. But wherever you go in the world, whatever you do, whenever you excel in sports or studies, whenever you show simple acts of kindness, whenever you do well, the country does well, Nepal does well. All it needs is for us to believe in ourselves and to give back to society even just a little bit of what our society gave to us. Our commencement speaker today is one example. As a student, Dr. Swarnim Wadley excelled in studies went to LSE, Harvard, Australian National University, worked for the World Bank, but quit it all and returned to Nepal with a deep sense of commitment towards his society and motherland. <laughs> all Nepal needs is a few dozen more Swarni Wagles to move ahead. <laughs> Dear students, there will be setbacks in your lives and you will learn to deal with them. We have equipped you with the necessary skills. I think we have equipped you with the necessary skills and means to overcome obstacles, not to be overwhelmed by them. You know, these days we hear of young people getting overwhelmed, getting anxiety, getting all kinds of emotional disturbances. So you have to really make every obstacle a learning opportunity. The challenges you overcome will only make you stronger. The world has become a very complicated place you have to be switched on, have your wits about you. You have to think independently as you navigate through life. Remember that the best way to resolve conflicts is peacefully. You already know how to be thoughtful and kind, compassionate and caring. I hope the message of the words reason, respect and responsibility stays with you and you carry forward the spirit of Ratabanga School. Class of 2018, may you lead extraordinary lives May you be blessed with moral courage and infinite imagination. Dream big, work hard, think for yourselves. We will miss you, class of 2018, but I know that occasional visits back to the school and the news of your successes will keep our hearts smiling. At this proud moment, for everyone in the class of 2018 and their families, a big hand. Congratulations and thank you.